Hello Salem, I'm your Mayor Chuck Bennett and it's good to be back uh, sharing with you information about our great city. Good news, we're expecting the best weather of 2020 to date this weekend and our dog park at Minto Brown is open on Friday, May 8th. If you head out there, all the guidelines will be posted, so make sure you read those and enjoy it safely. Please remember that we have an excellent web page dedicated to city programs and service changes due to the pandemic. Plus, there's local resource information. Better yet, all the information is provided in English and Spanish. So if you haven't already, please check out the City of Salem webpage and find all the information you need from parking to parks. And in case you didn't know, this week is National Nurses Week. To recognize the great work done by all the nurses of our community, the Union Street Pedestrian Bridge was lit purple on May 5 and May 6. We hope you got to see the lights in honor of them. Well, I've invited uh, Cheryl Wolf, President and Chief Executive Officer of Salem Health, to be with us today. Cheryl, welcome. Thank really you. glad you're here. Uh, you're at the helm of uh, Salem Health, mm -hmm. as well as being a nurse. So, first of all, Happy Nurses Week. Thank We're you. Really, really pleased to have you here. Yeah. How did you all get ready for this and and deal with this <laughs> through it? Well, thank you. Um, we certainly, like everyone else, uh, had to tread into some uncertain waters uh, and quickly on that. Uh, we stood up an incident command, uh, so a disaster command in our organization to make sure that we could address every aspect of what we were going to need in order to be ready uh, for the predicted surge uh, in our community and in Oregon. And uh, through that process, uh, we were able to have good visualization on where we had some weaknesses, PPE being one of those, of yeah. course, nationally, that's been a big problem, testing and how we would make sure uh, that all of that was ready uh, to take care of our patients. Um, additionally, through uh, work with the Oregon Health Authority, we were able to expand uh, the number of beds that we might need to take care of these patients and get ready for all of that. So it was a uh, intense effort. Our team worked um, 12 to 14 hours every single day for about a month and a half until we felt that we had everything under control and we're ready uh, for patients. And of course, meanwhile, we are treating patients. And, and speaking of your staff, one of the stories, both locally and nationally, has been both honoring and being very concerned about the frontline workers in yeah. hospitals, the nurses, the doctors, the aides, uh, really everyone in the right. hospital. How are things going? Uh, you know, they've gone beautifully, to tell you the truth. I mean, everybody has remarked about the cohesiveness of the team, right. how well they've done through this really difficult and uncertain time. I mean, we've all been somewhat frightened uh, by what could happen here. And our team came to work every day uh, and were really, I think, quite remarkable uh, in the work that they have done. And my words to our team have been, we need to take care of you so you can take care of the patients. Yeah. That's our primary objective right now. I did want to thank our community for everything they've done for us. Uh, Watershed did gown, made gowns for us. Garmin made face shields for us. The community outpouring to sew masks for us was incredible. We didn't expect that kind of response. Uh, and so uh, we just are very grateful uh, for everything our community did to help us during this time. Are we ready to reopen from your perspective as the health care system of the community? Uh, tough question, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm not sure there's a right answer for this. Okay. Uh, and so I think the, uh, we've been working with the cities and with both uh, Marion and Polk County commissioners as good partners. We are ready as an organization to take care of uh, surges that may come from reopening. Great. And uh, we're, we feel very well positioned to do that for our community because they will occur. 
Uh, that's, there's no vaccine yeah. for this. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna see this ebb and flow. And as I said, we, we still have some cases in the hospital, although uh, again, I think there were 12 yesterday. So pretty low numbers. Uh, and again, we have those very well contained uh, with uh, in special units to take care of them. And so uh, people should feel free uh, to come into the organization. And um, of course we are emphasizing social distancing as you and I are both demonstrating right, right now. <laughs> uh, mask, all of our team are in masks. I did that a few weeks ago because again, the CDC uh, started recommending something different uh, for uh, people in the community and we adopted that in our hospital. Yeah. Um, so I think we feel very well prepared to take care of the public as we've always done. And um, we will just all be having to live with COVID. So, so I think that it's a higher power than me uh, to uh, make that decision, but we have contributed with our readiness at this well, point. Good, we're on the same page. I know there's a higher power than me that's gonna decide this as well. Again, on behalf of the community, thank you to you and your team for the entire medical community and, and particularly Salem Health and the service you've given us for the past century or more. So thank you again. You're welcome. It's our pleasure. Great. Thank you very much for uh, joining us.